Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. If you've got a Samsung Galaxy S3, you're going to get an over-the-air update to Jelly Bean in the very near future, as promised by Samsung. And that's great because Jelly Bean makes Android so much better, especially on an awesome phone, a powerful phone, like the Galaxy S3. We've got the official version of TouchWiz running with Jelly Bean here on this Galaxy S3, and we're going to talk about it in this video. We're also going to compare it to Ice Cream Sandwich TouchWiz on this Galaxy S3, so you can see what the difference will be in day-to-day -day use from Ice Cream Sandwich to Jelly Bean on your Galaxy S3. So let's get to the video. Okay, and here we are, and this is the International Quad-Core Galaxy S3, and it's running the full version of TouchWiz with Jelly Bean. And let's just confirm that we're going to go over to the settings, go into About Device. They kind of hid it behind a secondary menu. As you can see here, Android 4.1.1, and this is full TouchWiz, make no mistake about it. This is what you're going to see when you get TouchWiz over the air, or Jelly Bean over the air, on your Galaxy S3. Let's just move around the operating system a little bit to see if it's really as fast and fluid as we've seen already on Jelly Bean. Then we're going to compare it to Ice Cream Sandwich so you know exactly what to expect. So let's just move around on the app tray. We'll launch some applications and just try to get a sense for how fast things are. So we'll go into the browser here. We're going to load up Engadget. Just move around the page. And we really do get that Jelly Bean buttery smoothness. As you can see, there are no checkerboards. On the Galaxy S3 with Ice Cream Sandwich, you'll get a little bit of checkerboards. Uh, so there's not much of a difference there, and we'll do a comparison in a sec. But scrolling and moving around on the screen just has gotten much better with Jelly Bean on the Galaxy S3. I mean, web browsing is super smooth. Let's go into landscape. That's quite fast as well. Let's zoom back out and just kind of move around in the various screens. And this, this was always smooth in Ice Cream Sandwich. Okay, now let's bring in the Ice Cream Sandwich version. And as you can tell, they're pretty much set up the exact same way. Uh, for all intents and purposes, they are factory reset, stock, and fresh. So we're going to launch a variety of programs. We're going to go into web browsing speed and really see the difference. Again, on the right, we've got Jelly Bean. On the left, we've got Ice Cream Sandwich. So let's launch the camera app. Everything should be faster in Jelly Bean. On the right, the device should be faster. Let's see. It was actually faster there in Ice Cream Sandwich. That is interesting. Let's do Pinch to Zoom. A little bit faster on Jelly Bean. Swiping to the right. I did notice earlier that in Ice Cream Sandwich, going from this frame to this frame, you could actually see some frames, which is not really what you want to see. It should be just a smooth motion. But in Jelly Bean, maybe you can see that on the video. It's a little stuttery towards the end of the animation. Again, these are subtle things. The Galaxy S3 is already a great phone. Let's move around the, the operating system and see what has changed. First things first, we go into the multitask UI, and now we have Google Now down here that we can go in. So you've got the features of Google Now, relevant information based on what's going on. We've also got some new icons. We can press the delete button to delete all of the open apps, kind of like this button does over there. And over here, we've got a task manager button. So really, it's just the addition of the Google Now button to the uh, task, task list here. Let's launch apps, see which opens faster. Okay, slightly faster with Jelly Bean. And as you can see, there's a new divider up here. There's a lot of really small little things in Jelly Bean with TouchWiz, like this divider here. Uh, but beyond that, things are pretty much the same. Let's take a look at folder opening speed, because that's always a thing in Ice Cream Sandwich that seems to be a little bit slower uh, than, than should take. So we're going to cancel that, drag and drop. Of course, in TouchWiz, in order to make a new folder, you actually have to tap. And there should be an option here to make a new folder. Create folder. OK, there's a folder. Let's put some stuff in there. Put three things in there. OK, and we'll move this over here. Now let's actually discard that. Does it have the flick gesture in Jelly? Let's see. No, it doesn't. OK, that's interesting. So tap and hold, and we can actually make a new folder with the tap and hold. Just make a new folder name. OK, here's our folder. It looks a little bit different here in Jelly Bean, so we're going to add some stuff to it. Let's put the Play Store in there. Boom. Let's put the S Memo in there. And then let's put the phone. OK, so now I've got a folder over here and a folder over here. Let's see which opens faster. That's interesting. In Jelly Bean, they added an animation which actually 
serves to slow things down a little bit, which is strange. And of course you can turn off animations. The folder itself, the frame is loading at the same speed. Uh, but in Jelly Bean, you get that secondary animation, which is actually kind of annoying. Folder style has actually changed too. Now you can see sort of a stacked view of your icons versus an ice cream sandwich. You kind of see tiny little preview thumbnails of your icons within the folder. Let's take a look at the keyboard, see if that's changed at all. Okay, so this T9 trace comes up and trace is still here in Jelly Bean. And the keyboard looks about the same. It's the same height, it's got the same buttons, nothing has changed in the keyboard. Let's go into the settings because a lot has moved around in settings. So as you can see here in Jelly Bean, we have a share and transfer link right here. Whereas before, that was all located in this secondary screen. So if you go into share and tra transfer, you have your SBeam settings, your NFC settings, just kind of the things have been moved around a little bit. And as you can see over here in Ice Cream Sandwich, we have wallpaper as the third item and lock screen is the third item here in uh, Jelly Bean. Then we've got this more settings button under personalization and we can turn on and off the LED indicator and specify what it blinks for. Scroll down a little bit more and see what else we have under personal. There's no more personal here in, oh, it's under personalization. But that's kind of a different thing. So settings have been moved around in Jelly Bean, really doesn't matter. Let's test the speed of going back to the home screen. Ready, go. Okay, it was actually faster. It's kind of funny. It's, it's faster in some ways in Ice Cream Sandwich. Let's go to the browser and compare web browsing speed. We're going to hit up Pocket now, see which gets there faster, see which is smoother, scrolling around on the screen. No, we don't want Pizza Hut. We want PocketNow.com. Let's go. It's probably going to ask to select the site. Okay, that went right to the mobile site. We'll go there. And again, little things have changed between Jelly Bean and Ice Cream Sandwich on the Galaxy S3. Like the bookmark button is on the right now versus on the left there. Uh, there's a back and forward button in the browser, which is, I, I guess, a nice touch. Beyond that, not much has changed. If we go down to the bottom, go back, we'll go to the desktop site. See which loads fat first. Let's go one, two, three, go. Okay, they did go at the same time. Really curious to see which goes to the site first. We're on the same Wi-Fi network, so that should be equal, and... They look very similar. Okay, Jelly Bean finished a little bit faster, still loading here on Ice Cream Sandwich, and we will wait until it loads before we move around on the page and test the smoothness of everything. Okay, it's finally done. So let's move down the page. Very, very similar web browsing performance. Let's see how long text takes to clear up. A little bit faster in Ice Cream Sandwich. This is kind of crazy how, in some cases, Ice Cream Sandwich is faster. In some cases, a lot of the UI stuff, Jelly Bean is faster. But things like web browsing speed, it looks like Jelly Bean's actually faster. So, let's move over. Touch Wiz Home has stopped. Okay, that's a crash. That's not good. So let's go into this headline and see what we get. Before Jelly Bean was faster in loading the page, and it looks like we're going to have the same result, actually. Okay, Jelly Bean finished slightly faster, but not by much. Zooming in, clears up a little bit faster on Ice Cream Sandwich. That is actually really funny. So as you can see, there's not a huge difference between Jelly Bean on the Galaxy S3 and Ice Cream Sandwich on the Galaxy S3. This is probably because the Galaxy S3 is a really fast, really great phone to begin with. It's very well optimized, even with Ice Cream Sandwich. You definitely get a lot of smoother interaction. You get that sense that you really can't see through a video of the UI being just a whole lot faster in Jelly Bean. Things are just more responsive. They seem to respond a lot better to your touches than you would in Ice Cream Sandwich where you get that UI lag once in a while. Uh, but overall, besides the additional features which are nice like Google Now and sort of things moved around a bit, there's not that big of a difference between Jelly Bean uh, on the Galaxy S3 and Ice Cream Sandwich on, a gel on, the, on the Galaxy S3. Of course, you can always root your phone if you want a totally different experience, really optimized for speed, put Cyanogen Mod 10 on it. Of course, we always recommend doing that if you've got, uh, if you're a little bit brave and you want to do that kind of thing, we'll put a link up on the video to show you what Cyanogen Mod 10 is like 
on the Galaxy S3. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And once you get Jelly Bean on your Galaxy S3, drop a comment and let us know how you like it and how it's working out for you. It's a very exciting update and it's coming very soon to your Galaxy S3. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching. That's it for now.